In this video, we will talk about the range and maximum height of a projectile. It is recommended to watch my previous video on projectiles for the derivation of some of the equations used in this video. As we can see in the figure, the range of a projectile is the distance from the launch point to the point where the projectile meets the horizontal launch plane. And the maximum height that is reached by a projectile is measured with respect to the horizontal launch plane. Now let's find the range OA denoted by uppercase X of the projectile in the special case where the launch point coincides with the origin O of the frame of reference. The coordinates of point A where the projectile meets the horizontal launch plane are X and zero. This point belongs to the parabolic trajectory having this equation. Thus its coordinates satisfy this equation which can be written with the common factor X. One of the roots of this equation is X equals zero. This solution is rejected since A and O do not coincide. To find the second root, we write the second factor equals zero. We move 10 alpha to the right side of the equation, then we multiply the two members of the equation by negative one to cancel the minus sign. And we replace 10 alpha by sine alpha over cosine alpha. We multiply the two members of the obtained equation by cosine alpha and get x equals 2v0 squared sine alpha cosine alpha over g. Note that cosine alpha is different from zero. We also know that two sine alpha cosine alpha equals sine of two alpha. So we can replace it in the last equation and get the formula of the range x equals v0 squared sine of 2 alpha over g. Note that based on this formula, the range is maximum when sine 2 alpha is equal to 1, which means that 2 alpha is equal to 90 degrees. This leads to alpha equals 45 degrees. This result means that to get the maximum range, the launch angle must be of 45 degrees. In this case, we can obtain the formula of the maximum range. To find the maximum height of the projectile, we will choose one of different methods which can be applied and we will choose the same special case where the launch point coincides with the origin O of the frame of reference. At the highest point B of the trajectory, the vertical component of the velocity Vy is equal to zero but Vy equals minus Gt plus V0 sine alpha. Thus, if we replace Vy by zero in this equation and take negative Gt to the left side, we can get the time or date at which the center of mass of the projectile coincides with point B. Then in the equation giving the ordinate Y of the center of mass, we replace T by its expression and get an equation in which we can cancel G in one part and multiply numerator and denominator by two in the other part. The work leads to the formula of the maximum height, Y equals V0 squared multiplied by sine squared alpha over two G. Note that based on this formula, the maximum height has many values depending on the launch angle alpha. But the greatest or maximum among all these values is denoted y max and is reached when sine squared alpha is equal to one. This equation has two possible solutions. The first one is sine alpha equals negative one, thus alpha equals minus 90 degrees. The solution is rejected since the projectile is not launched downward. The second solution is sine alpha equals one, thus alpha equals 90 degrees. The solution is accepted since the projectile is launched upward. In this case, we can obtain the formula of Y max. And this is all for this video. Thank you for watching.